Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of basically download and install Portable Python. So I'm going to put Portable Python into Google. Okay, that takes us to the website, portablepython.com. Now there should be two links over here, 3.2.1.1 right here. Takes me to the download page, and I'm going to choose my mirror. So that's HTTP next to USA. You can choose any of the HTTP. Don't choose the FTP because um, uh, oftentimes FTP is blocked by uh, firewalls, um, which is shocking, but it is. Okay, so we're going to wait for that to go ahead and download. Okay, now I downloaded a, a different version earlier. Um, but I'm going to demonstrate to you how to install it here. Okay, so we're just waiting for it to download. Okay, so basically what I did is I created uh, wherever you store your work. Okay, so I did it on the desktop, but wherever it is that you store your work, you should create a Python folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to install the um, portable Python into that folder. Okay, so we're going to right click in Firefox's download window, open containing folder, we'll click on portable Python, click run, click next. Okay, now we have a, a choose install location, so that's where we're going to choose uh, the folder that we made. Now mine's on my desktop, so I didn't have to go anywhere. Click OK, click next, install, and you're going to get this. It's going to run, you know, it's going to take a little while. Um, now, if your computer is a thin client, so if it's a case where you are um, you're working on a computer that is um, only used to transfer things, well, not only used, but it transfers things immediately, a lot of student computers are like this. Uh, so if you're at a computer where things are transferred immediately onto the network, this process is going to take a long time. Uh, so be patient. Okay, so on this computer, uh, only took a couple of seconds. I've seen this take on uh, thin clients. I've seen, seen it take um, a good 40 minutes or 50 minutes, depending on network usage. So, all right. So there we go. Uh, we're going to click finish. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go get our book. Okay, so we're going to search invent with Python. Okay, now this might be in your online course, but this is a case if you wanted to go get it on your own. Um, okay, so we're going to go read it online and then download as PDF. The easier way to do this is just to right click on the link and go save link as. And then we're just going to save it into Python folder. Okay, and I did want to replace it. I'm just showing you how to download the stuff. So, okay, so we basically installed uh, Portable Python now, and we have our book. Uh, so we can go ahead and close our browser here, and let's get ready, kind of get ready, set up to work. So we're going to. Um, First of all, we're going to open our uh, PDF, uh, and it is, it, you know, it is a little bit difficult to um, to get around in this uh, in a large PDF document. So we're going to start on chapter two. I like to use these page thumbnails myself. Um, so our very first thing is going to be in the shell. 
Um, so let's go ahead and let's show you the two programs that you downloaded. Let's go in our Python folder into Portable Python. I'm just going to quickly uh, delete my duplicate book there. Um, so we have two programs. The first is Portable Python. Okay, so this is our console. Okay, so when they show in the book, when they show the um, shell, this is the shell. So Portable Python is the shell. Okay, now after chapter two, we're going to get into more complicated stuff. So let's, we'd open up PyScriptor. Okay, so in this case, this is a full IDE um, integrated development environment. So there we have it. That's how to install Python and get ready to work. Good job. Good luck.